he just wailed that tap dancer rig. Folks, let me take a minute here and show you the rig that I'm using. This is what's called a tap dancer rig. It's basically just a dropper rig. We tie these ourselves with 40 pound fluorocarbon. We basically tie our fluorocarbon with a uni to uni knot to our 50 pound power pro. And then about four or five inches below that, we tie a dropper loop to which we attach the large bucktail jig. But instead of using your classic dropper loop, all we do is tie a double overhand knot to create this loop. This double overhand knot is actually a weak knot. And the reason why we use that is if we get snagged, a lot of times what'll happen is this knot will break. If the jig gets snagged, the knot will break and we'll retain our trailer. If the trailer gets snagged, this knot will break and we'll retain the jig. So it just helps us a little bit not to lose so much tackle. Now the trailer that I mentioned, this is about, this is rigged about four feet now behind our main jig. And this trailer, all I'm using right now is just a plain 3 aught English style gold hook with a strip of fluke belly on it. You can use squid, you can use strips of bluefish, mackerel, anything you can get. What you'll see throughout the course of the day today, you'll see us rigging these with some little squids on here, uh, maybe some little bucktail teasers ahead of the trailer. Any of those will work. Some days they want a little bit more bulk, some days they don't. You know, every day's different. We'll see what happens today.